All right, guys, we're going to go ahead and review Ash Shampoo Win Optimizer 17. Ash Shampoo makes a lot of cool stuff, so I can't wait to take a look at this tune up utility. We're using the free trial right now. You can get the free trial when you go to the. I will post a link on the description of the video for the free trial. It'll take you here on the link and just click on free download, this blue button right here, and it'll take you to download it. Once you have it downloaded, it looks like it gives you 10 days. So let's go ahead and take a look at it. All right, so here it is. Oh, look, it looks really fancy. Look at that. It looks really high tech, like out of a movie. It's even got these lines. Look at that. Surprised it doesn't make the sound <laughs> while doing that. All right, so it says this PC has not been optimized yet. We're ready to analyze your machine. Okay, let's hit the button. This should be a button there. It's not really doing much by hitting that button, but anyway. It tells you here you, where your computer is. Mine is a Windows 7 with 6 gigs of RAM, uh, quad-core processor, Athlon, AMD Athlon, with a Radeon a HD 7900 video card. Um, it says we're ready to analyze your machine. This should have a button here to analyze it real quick. So it's not very user-friendly right off the bat, I could tell. But at the very bottom here, it does say analyze. So let's click on that. Um, there is any open Google Chrome internet traces. The browser can only be completely determined. And what? Okay. We'll analyze anyway. All right. That's for browsing traces. What that means is every website you've been to, it's going to try to uh, clear that out. Because every time you go online, whatever you go to, it does get downloaded to your computer and it stays there. So right now it's searching the necessary registry entries. It finished the browsing traces and found 6,800 of them. That's a lot. So there it's going now through unnecessary registry entries. <clears throat> Next will be unnecessary files. That's where it's at now. Now, I don't know. I don't know what is defined as the necessary files for this program here, but uh, all right, we'll see what it does. I'm pretty sure it's the temp files. All right, invalid shortcuts. Now it's going to look for which those doesn't really take much space or memory, does it? It's kind of weird. Oh, invalid program shortcuts. My bad. I thought I was talking about like link shortcuts. Okay, it's done with that. Um, everything is good on unnecessary running services, unnecessary auto start entries, optimizable system settings. I'm pretty much on top of that. That's why I do that manually. And optimizable security settings. So it looks like uh, we detected 1,643 issues is what it says. Let's go ahead and um, optimize. We'll hit optimize. Hit OK. And I think it should start working on those things. And there it goes. So browsing traces is green. Unnecessary registry entries is being worked on. It's taking a while there. Come on, come on. That's done. Um, unnecessary files. I thought it was only partial successful. What? Why? Let's hit optimize again. Maybe I'll do it. Why is that? Why is it not doing this one? Hmm. It doesn't really tell you why. Okay, so in my computer, it didn't want to do the unnecessary files, which is fine. For that, I recommend you use this program here. I'm opening it right now. CCleaner. CCleaner will take care of that. And I run it once a week, so I mean, anyway. CCleaner will do that. If it's not working for you, just use CCleaner. And CCleaner is free, too. I think I've already made a review on that one. But anyway, let's take a look at the rest of the stuff here. We're in overview. Let's go to automatic. We can do auto clean. Clears all session traces. We can always turn that on. Live tuner. It'll tune up your PC automatically. And then there's game booster. Terminates background services if you're playing a game. Automatically shuts down services and processes. The service will be react reactivated once game booster is disabled. So you turn it on right. Let's say you're about to play a game right now. That's when you turn it on. All right. So that's how you turn it on. 
that's if you're playing a game, just hit on right there, and it's actually going to close everything. And the only thing that's going to be the only thing you'll be able to open is your game. The reason why I'm not clicking on it because I don't want everything to close on us because I'm recording right now for you guys. So that's the automatic. If we look at all my modules here, there's a lot of stuff here on Win, Opt Win Optimizer 17. Clean up your system, free space, clean the registry, eliminate web browsing traces, etc., etc., etc. We can improve performance, customize windows, analyze systems, file tools, administrative tools. Dang, that is a lot of tools. I like that. I really like that. All right, under the maintain system tab here, you can do one click optimizer to clean up your system. Scan and delete, delete directly without confirmation, or you can scan and delete only after confirmation. So that's what it's doing right now. One click optimizer, bam, just one click and it'll do it. Which we already did a while ago. Let's go back to maintain system. But anyway, there's drive cleaner to free up space. You can actually look for stuff and delete it. There's registry optimizer. We already did that. Uh, internet cleaner. We already did that. And you could do defrag. A lot of people don't do defrag no more. Nowadays, modern computers defrag on their own. But sometimes you got to do it manually anyway. So if you choose to defrag, I'm pretty sure it'll. it's going to find your drives right here. Those are the drives. You select your drive. Of course, select the one with the biggest uh, with the biggest uh, space. Now, what you're looking at here, see the white spot? That is uh, empty space, right? I don't know how they're. Yeah, free. So what the defragger does is it puts it all together. That way, there's all the free space is not in between everything. If that makes sense, basically, it just organizes everything on the hard drive. All right. Um, and registry defrag, I, you know, I never heard about that. That's weird. I think I, I have heard about it before, but I never really tried it. The registry defrag, but it just goes into the registry. It does the exact same thing as I explained a while ago, but with something called the registry. Think of it like the um, where all your program paperwork is that You can look at it that way. Where your programs are installed, that's where the registry is at. All right, so we go back to maintain system. That was it. Um, let's go to improve performance. Right here, there's a service manager. Just manage all the services that are running in the background. A startup tuner, internet tuner. You can actually tune your internet connection speed. Your processes, you can uninstall programs through the uninstall manager and your um, SSD card wizard to optimize your system for SSDs. Which is the little uh, little cards, little memory cards that you can connect to your computer. Um, you can customize it. You can tweak the Windows system. Do anti-spy stuff. I mean, there's so much stuff you can do on here, guys. I can I can take all day going through all this right here, guys. So I really like it. Um, you can analyze your system for errors, disk space errors, and all that stuff. There's other file tools like File Wiper, like kind of like a shredder if you want to shred some files on there. File manipulator, a disk doctor, undeleter, link checker, duplicate finder. There's all kinds of stuff on here, guys. All kinds. Administrative tools, through system restore points, energy manager, statistics, all that good stuff. And that's about it. If you guys like it, I mean, it's got so much utilities on there, guys. Dang, I was impressed. I was really impressed. I'm about to give this one a five out of five stars, man. Eshram Poo really, really delivers all the time, man. They do so many cool products, but man, I'm gonna have to do. I'm gonna have to do a review on all their products. Look at all the stuff they do. They do multimedia, system utilities, all kinds of stuff. I'm gonna have to go through all of them, make a review on all of them. But anyway, if you really like it, right now there's a sale for twenty dollars. If you could see there. Try it for 10 days, just like I have, and uh, let me know what you think on the description of the video. Thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you soon in one of my other videos.